Hello and welcome to this video. In this tutorial I want to show you a really cool and free tool by Mixamo.com that allows you to automatically rig any character. So let me introduce you to Mike. This is the character that I'm going to use in this tutorial for demonstration purposes. So let's get right into it. The first thing we need to do is to export Mike. And for this, we're going to go to File, Export, and choose Wavefront OBJ. Uh, select the folder where you want to save it, and I'm going to call him Mike. And in the side panel, we need to change the path mode from Auto to Copy, so we don't lose the textures. Then we are ready, and you can press on Export OBJ. This goes really quickly and we can open up the folder and as you can see we have this obj file and all the texture files. So let's create a new folder for this. Call this mic and copy everything into it. Now to upload this to Mixamo we need to create a zip folder. So right click on it, 7-zip and compress it to a zip file. And then we can go to Mixamo.org. If this is your first time using Mixamo, you need to register or sign up with your Adobe account. But this is 100% free for everybody and you don't need to have a Creative Cloud subscription. And once you're here, you can go over here and click on Upload Character. And you can see we can either upload FBX files, OBJ files or ZIP files. So click on upload, choose the zip file and open it up. Now we have to wait a moment until this is uploaded and processed. As you can see the textures are pretty weird, but this is no problem because we will fix that later on when we import him back into Blender. So the first thing you need to do is to orient him. So use those arrows down here to rotate him and just make sure that he is facing the camera. Once you're ready, you can click on next and here you have to place the feature markers. So this is the chin, place the wrists, uh, the elbows, and you can see over here, you can see where you have to place those markers. So this is really intuitive and very easy to use. Just place those in the right place, the groin, as well. And if your character isn't symmetrical, you can just turn this off here and can make uh, individual changes on both sides. But I want to use the symmetry. So let's place this here and that's perfect. And you can also select the rig you want to use. And I'm going to go with the default one, standard skeleton with 65 bones. Then I press on next and let it process for a moment. Now, as you can see in this preview, everything worked perfect and our character is rigged. If you have any issues, you can always go back and make some changes and then try again. But I'm happy with this, so I click on next. If you have used Mixamo before, you know that we have a lot of animations to choose from. So for example, we can apply this Capoeira animation or switch to this hip hop dancing. But I think I'm going to go with this break dance. Over here, you can use the overdrive to change the speed. So if you bring it down, you can slow down the animation or speed it up. But I bring this back to the default. You could also mirror it or change the number of frames. But I leave it at a default of 162 frames. So once you are ready, you can click on download and leave everything at the default. Download it as an FBX and click on download. If you just want to rig the character, but don't apply an animation to it, you can go up here and search for the 
T pose. Apply this pose and just download it like this. So now I think our file is ready. So we can go back into Blender. Let me quickly hide everything. Go to File, Import, FBX, and select the one we just downloaded. Now this is imported, but it is really small down here. So I just click on the period in the numpad to quickly zoom into it. And I also open up a timeline. And you can see we have all those keyframes. We quickly switch this to 160 frames. It's 162. And you can see we have this animation. The textures are now working better, but they are still a bit weird. So let's open up a shader editor. Select the character and as you can see it added this normal map that we don't need so let's delete it. And it also made the material metallic. We can turn this down and bring the specular back to 0 0.5. So let's quickly go through all the materials and do the same thing. Metallic and specular. You can also adjust the roughness. So I want to make the hairs a bit rougher. Uh, same thing here, delete the normal map. Turn off the metallic, bring down the specular and adjust the roughness. The same for the shoes, turn off metallic, adjust the specularity and remove the normal map. And that's it. This is how easy it is to rig any character with Mixamo. Thank you for watching. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. I am Nick from Blender Daily. See you in the next one.